ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय हरे कृष्ण रीडिंग श्रीमद भगवद गीता चैप्टर फोर श्लोक क्रमांक नौ नाइन लॉर्ड कृष्णा इज सेइंग टू अर्जुन जन्म कर्म च मे दिव्यम एवं यो भीति तत्वत त्यक्वादेहम पुनर्जन्म नीति मामीति सो अर्जुन लॉर्ड कृष्णा इज सेइंग टू अर्जुन जन्म कर्म च मे दिव्यम दिव्यम मीन्स transcendental so lord krishna is saying me me means mine mine means krishna lord krishna is saying my janma my birth and my karma my activities my work are divya divya means transcendental evam yah veti tatvatah and yah means anyone who knows this in reality tyakta deha punah janma tyakta means after giving up this deha this body this sharira punah janma rebirth na eti does not attain ma meti sah arjuna so one who knows this he does not get punah janma again he arjuna you should know this so the translation of the shloka is one who knows the transcendental nature of my appearance and activities does not upon leaving the body take his birth again in this material world but attains my eternal abode o arjuna so we have seen that in the previous two shlokas lord krishna told arjuna about the reasons for his appearance परित्राणाय साधना विनाशाय च दुष्कृता धर्म संस्थापनार्थाय संपदा लॉर्ड कृष्ण टोल्ड अर्जुन दैट आई अपीयर एवरी मिलेनियम आफ्टर मिलेनियम टू प्रोटेक्ट द डिवोटीज टू डिस्ट्रॉय द मिस्क्रियंट्स एंड टू री एस्टैब्लिश द धर्म एंड वन हु नोज लॉर्ड कृष्ण एज अ सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड and his transcendental appearance and activities lord krishna is not like you or me he is not an ordinary person but his activities are transcendental as arjuna as lord krishna told to arjuna in the fourth chapter in the beginning only lord lord told arjuna about his work and his activities divya gyan lord said that अजोपी सन् अव्यय आत्मूतानाश्वर अभी संप्रकृति स्वाम अधिष्ठाय संभवी आत्मया सो लॉर्ड कृष्ण इज सेइंग दैट आई एम अजन्म अजन्म मीन्स अजन्म मीन्स ही डज नॉट टेक बर्थ बट ही अपीयर्स सन् अव्यय Abhyaya, abhyaya means the Lord's body is not like uh, our body, which just gets destroyed. Lord's body is transcendental. Bhuta naam Ishvara abhi, uh, and Lord Krishna is the Ishvara of all the people who takes birth. Prakrutim swam adisthaya, and Lord Krishna, he comes in his. adishtaya adishtaya means in this form prakrutim swam adishtaya sambhavami atma maya so lord krishna appears by his own atma maya every millennium after millennium and then lord krishna says that to arjuna that he arjuna bahu nami vati tani janma जन्मानी तव चार्जुना तान्य वेद सर्वाणी न तो मेथम परंतप और 
Krishna says to Arjuna, Hey Arjuna, you and me have taken a lot of births. But I remember all of them. You don't remember. And Lord Krishna's body is uh, Abhyaya, Avinashi. And he is Ajanma. But still he comes. And why he comes? Yada yada hi dharmasya granir bhavati bharata. Abhyuthanam adharmasya tadatmanam shujam yam. So, whenever and wherever there is dharma ki glani, dharma, dharma se glani, which means the patan or degraded, degradation of religious principles, and abhyuthanam adharmasya, adharma grows at that time, tadatmanam shujam yam. Shujami means appear, pragat. So, Lord Krishna at that time appears by his own will. And then he says, the next shloka is Paritranaya Sadhana Vinashaya Chatrishnishkatam Dharma Sanstapnathaya Sambhavam So this is the difference between the appearance of ordinary living being and Lord Krishna. Lord Krishna's body is Abhyaya. Uh, our body is Vyaya, which means destroys every second. Lord Krishna and his body are same. Uh, there is no difference between Krishna's soul, Atma and Krishna himself. Like in our case, the Atma and the Sharira are different. That is why Atma is eternal, Sharira is temporary. It dies all of a sudden. And then Lord appears by his own sweet will. While living entity cannot appear by his own sweet will. Lord has purpose for appearance. Huh? Our is we are we appear because we are we take birth because of our karma. Right? So there is a lot of difference between the uh, appearance of Lord Krishna or Lord Rama and appearance of ordinary living being. So here Lord says that one who knows this transcendental nature. Janma karma cha me divyam. Transcendental. Divyam means transcendental, which we just discussed. So, Lord's appearance and activities are divya, transcendental. Evam yo veti tattvaha. If one knows this, understands it properly, and worships Krishna in that mood, then tyaktya deham punar janma na maiti ma meti so arjuna. Then such person will never take birth again. Just by knowing. Uh, Krishna and his transcendental activities. So we can see that uh, in uh, we celebrate many festivals like Ram Navami, Janvashtami. Uh, we celebrate the appearance of Lord Krishna and Lord Ramachandra. But the reason behind celebration is that these are the divya transcendental of celebrations. And uh, once we celebrate Janvashtami or Ram Navami and then uh, Gaur Purnima. And we understand the transcendental nature of Lord Krishna at that time, then we do not get birth again after giving up this birth. So that is what is meaning of this shloka. So first is So uh, to become the devotee of Lord Krishna means to have firm faith in Lord Krishna and to follow all his teachings. Srila yeah. Prabhupada says that Lord's descent from his transcendental abode is already explained in six words. One who can understand the truth of appearance of the Supreme Personality of Godhead is already liberated from material bondage and therefore he returns to the kingdom of God immediately after quitting this present material body. So one who understands that Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, spends his life in remembering Krishna, serving Krishna, and at the same time, uh, he understands the difference between the ordinary living entity and the, and the Lord Krishna. Such a person is already liberated. And at the end of the life, he goes to kingdom of God, back to home, back to Godhead. Such liberation of living entity from material bondage is not at all easy. Janma Bhrutu ke chakra se bahar nikalna bada mushkil hai. The impersonalists and yogis attain the liberation only after much trouble and many many births. Even then the liberation may they achieve merging into impersonal Brahma Jyoti is only partial liberation. 
and there is a risk of returning to this material world. But the devotee simply by understanding the transcendent nature of the body and activities of the Lord attains the abode of Lord after ending this body and does not run the risk of returning to the material world. So, a devotee completely knows that Lord's appearance and activities are transcendental and he, uh, in, he lives his life full of Krishna consciousness. So then, uh, at the end of the, this life, he will not return to the material world. In the Brahma Sahinta, 5th chapter, 36th shloka, it is stated that Lord has many, many forms of incarnation. Advaita Achyuta Ananda, Ananda, uh, Advaita Achyuta Anadin, Ananta Rupam. Therefore, there are many, many incarnations of Lord and they are all one and the same Supreme Personality of Godhead. So, Lord appears in many forms like main or the Dasha Avatar, Narasimha, Vamana, Matsya Avatar, Kurma Avatar, Parshura, Ramchandra Ji, Balram Ji, Buddha, Kalki, like that. There are many many Avatar. But, जितने भी अवतार हैं उनका एक क्वालिटी है कि वो ट्रांसेंडेंटल है वो मटेरियल नहीं है ठीक है तो यहां पे हम पॉज करेंगे फिर कल पढ़ना चालू करते हैं श्रीमद् भगवत गीता की जय श्रीमद् प्रभुपाद की जय गीता है जय कृष्ण